Yeah, my influences would be, yeah, definitely, well, obviously Randy Rhodes, uh, obviously Father Van Halen, uh, John McLaughlin, Al Miola, Frank Marino, I love Frank, um, Robin Trower, and obviously Hendrix, then, uh, you know, Albert Lee, you know, country pickers and stuff like that, bluegrass guys and everything like that are some of the most amazing players on the planet. You know, all, all the most insane jazz players too, you know what I mean? One of my students I was giving guitar lessons to had, uh, he just had like a little Fender Mustang, and uh, he plugged into my Marshall, I had a blues breaker then, or a combo, I just had a Marshall combo, and then uh, just plugged into my combo. Uh, you know, just hit an A chord, you know, a G chord, anything like that. Could have been Highway to Hell or something like that, you know what I mean? ACDC or whatever. I mean, his guitar was like 10 times louder than mine. The clarity was amazing. It was just like, uh, well, I, I couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? Because the, the guitar, you know, with the Fender, little Fender Mustang that he had, I mean, it was like, <laughs> my Les Paul had a, a ton more wood floating around on it. You know, I was just like, I couldn't believe how loud it was. I was just like, what are those black pickups in that thing? He goes, oh, these are EMG pickups. And he showed me in the back, he goes, yeah, you got to put a battery in your guitar. And I was like, you got to put a battery in your guitar, you know? And he goes, oh, yeah. He was like, I guess they're called active pickups or something like that. I go, oh, I mean, I was like, whatever. I mean, the guitar sounds great. Yeah, so ever since then, that's the only, actually, that's the only pickups I use, you know? I mean, when I'm playing live, whenever I'm recording everything, you know? What do I like best about EMGs? It's just, uh, just the, the spectrum of sound, the clarity, the punch, and nothing gets muddy. Like you said, and the, and the fidelity of sound, just from all the way from the bottom to the highs. And, and, and it just has everything, the whole spectrum of sound. Everything's just crystal clear. With electric guitars, you know, I mean, it, I, you know, because I question it a lot of times, you know, because it's just like, it's not like you have an acoustic instrument where, you know, you can really tell the difference between, you know, brighter woods and things like that. You know, like ebony is a really hard wood and it's a brighter wood than, say rosewood, you know, which is darker and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, with different guitars, they definitely have different sounds. Like you take a, you know, strap body and stick a humbucker in it, it's gonna have more top end than a, than a Les Paul, per se, you know what I mean? Yeah, the pickups definitely, without a doubt, have a, have a ton to do with the sound. You know, like I, it goes right back to that example I told you, with, you know, the kid who had a little Fender Jaguar, and I, you know, here I am with a big old beefy Les Paul, and his guitar sounded a trillion times fatter and huger than my Les Paul, you know, so, uh, and then once I threw the EMGs in my Les Paul, I was just like, oh my God, you know what I mean? It was like night and day. Yeah.